البارح الرحيم in the name of God the most beneficent the most merciful peace be upon you last time we discussed the fact that lady Sayyida Fatima al-Zahra peace be upon her was the first female advocate or lawyer if you want to say in the history of mankind she was the first female medic you want to call her a nurse or a doctor in the history of mankind and of course she was the best role model for a woman as a wife for women as, a, as wives and as daughters and as individual human beings today if you permit me we will discuss the point of, or this small point or small aspect of Sayyidah Fatima al-Sahra's life as a human being and that would be very short, forgive me for that, but we will start with Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, in the name of God, the most beneficent, the most merciful. وَيُطْعِمُونَ الطَّعَابَ عَلَىٰ حُبِّهِ مِسْكِينًا وَيَتِيمًا وَأَسِيرًا إِنَّمَا نُطْعِمُكُمْ لِوَجْهِ اللَّهِ لَا نُعِينُ مِنْكُمْ جَزَاءً وَلَا شُكُورًا it ex it's explained as in the name of God, the most beneficent, the most merciful, and they give away or they feed the food for His love, for the love of God. To a, to a needy or a poor person, an orphan and a prisoner, or we feed you for the sake of God, we don't want of, we don't want of you praises or rewards. This particular scripture, which is very short, about Lady Sayyida Fatima Zahra and Imam Ali, peace be upon them, consists of several points which I will discuss in the shortest time possible. This particular verse has a story which is that Al-Imam al hasadayn peace be upon them, who are the sons of Sayyidah Fatima al-Sahra and Imam Ali, peace be upon them, were sick. And so Al-Imam Ali and Sayyidah Fatima al-Sahra, peace be upon them, made a pledge or a vow to God, in Arabic. So they made a pledge to God that, my Lord, Al-Imam al hasadayn if my sons recover, we will fast three consecutive days for your sake. The first point of this is that even Sayyidah Fatima al-Zahra, who is inseparable from Islam, and Imam Ali, peace be upon him, who is inseparable from Islam, actually make vows and sacrifices for the sake of God. We all know Ali Imam al Hassanayn is the greatest and the amazing, fabulous role in Islam. And yet, why did they do that? It was a message for us that you must sacrifice for the sake of God. And not only that, which I will explain in the second point, which is when you sacrifice, you sacrifice for the sake of God. So when Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib peace be upon him, and Lady Sayyidah Fatima al-Zahra, peace be upon her, began the three-day consecutive fasting, their first day, when they came to break their fast, a needy person knocked at their door. He was hungry. So they gave him, and you know, their, their breakfast was very modest. So they gave him the food away, and they broke their fast on nothing but water. The second day, an orphan knocked at their door. And again, they gave him the food away and broke their fast as nothing but water. The third day, it was a prisoner who was released and also they gave him the food away and broke their fast as nothing but water. And here this holy verse was revealed to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and for the sake of God, they give away the food for the love of God to an orphan, to an edi, an orphan, and a prisoner. Oh, we feed you for the sake of God. We don't want of you praises 
or rewards. This is very profound, because if you help people for the sake of people, if people were to actually betray you, stab you at the back, if they were to just not thank you, you'll be disappointed. And many people, when they actually help others for the sake of people just to gain higher reputation or for the sake of earthly rewards, when these people bite them or bite the hand that ext that's extended to them, people say, where is God? But did you do this for the sake of God? If you did for the sake of God, you wouldn't be disappointed because you shouldn't expect rewards or praises. You do it for the sake of God. Because God has commanded you. And God does not let the goodness of good people go astray. So if you do things for the sake of God, don't expect us to rewards. You do it because it's a duty, because God has commanded you to do so. People betray. If you do things for the sake of people, for the sake of acquiring higher station here on earth, amongst people, in society, or just that people can thank you or be grateful to you, forgive me, but over here, Lady Sayyid of Fatima al-Sahra and Imam Ali, peace be upon them, tell you you are putting your effort at the wrong place. Because here they said, oh people, we sacrificed. They actually fasted the three consecutive days without food. For the sake of who? For the sake of God. And they gave the food away to these people. For the sake of who? For the sake of God. And that's why they said, we don't want of you praises or rewards. We do it only for the sake of God. Because we love God. And... In this particular scripture, they tell us what you have to sacrifice. Regardless who you are, regardless how important you are, whether you are you regard yourself as important here, as a person, as a Muslim, as a human being, or as anything. You have to sacrifice for the sake of God. You have to sacrifice what? In terms of hunger? They fasted three days in a desert? Can you do that? And they gave away the food, their food. Their only food, their only breakfast, for the sake of God. They didn't want any people, anybody to take them, because they don't care for this. So, uh, the second point I